come and join us. It's a fantastic morning. It's lots of fun. All right, I can't stall any longer. The time has come. It's just a couple of minutes past, quarter past seven, as we said. And she made her debut on Australian television at the, uh, the age of nine. Well, almost two decades later, Kate Ritchie remains one of only two original cast members on Home and Away. So not only have we watched her grow up, we've fallen in love with her. <laughs> Kate Ritchie this year won the Gold Logie as her most popular TV personality. Kate, what's the announcement? Oh, is there an announcement? Yeah. Oh. I just wanted to get on the well, telly. Yeah. <laughs> you don't. Oh. You've got a pimple. No, I know, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I did want to um, come in this morning and talk to you guys. Firstly, I wanted to come and speak to you because you're always, you've always been so lovely and supportive of my career on Home and Away. And um, I guess the announcement really is that um, after 20 years of being on Home and Away, I think it's time for a change and... Oh, hang on! Oh. 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 And I'm okay. Yeah, I just couldn't I'm let you good. sit myself. No, I'm Sorry, good. Toby. I'm good. And I'm, for you not here. Oh, thank you. And I'm actually, um, I'm going to be filming my final scenes of Home and Away come December. So... Oh, Sally, why? Kate. Okay, Kate, I mean, Kate, why? Um, because the time is right. Like, um, I know I, I might look like I'm upset, and I think that's just that's because I, it's an, been an emotional decision and a, and a long road to actually come to this decision. But um, there's, there's no kind of hidden agenda, there's no real reason apart from the fact that I've been on that show since I was a little girl. And I was eight years old when I got the part of Sally, and I'm now a 29 year old woman who just really needs to go out there and, and do something different. So. What about reaching the decision? How, have you sort of is it, have you been toing and froing for ages, or was it just one day you went, yeah, you know what, this is this is it? Yeah, I, I certainly didn't wake up one day and think, oh, I've got to leave home and away. Um, it's been a decision that has been made over a long period of time, and probably for years and years. I mean, I, I probably, you know, when I was doing the HSC, of course, I thought, is now the right time to leave because um, I should concentrate on my studies and all, all that kind of thing. But I. To be honest, I think over the last couple of years, I've just really changed as an individual and maybe I've just grown into myself more and I'm more confident about who I am and maybe um, in that sense I don't need to be Sally anymore. And um, I mean, look, <laughs> when the day comes to say goodbye, it'll, it will be awful, but I'm just... I'm really excited and I know that this decision is completely right. Because if you've got an obvious to, what do you dread doing? What, what do you want to do? Having a holiday? Uh. Um, <laughs> um, I, you know what? I, because you wouldn't have, most, most kids do a gap year or go backpack yes. here. You, you've done none you've, of that. No, no. Well, and I, look, I, I often tell my sister that I'm uh, completely less of her. She's a couple of years older than me and she travelled the world for five years and um, and I do, I look at things like that and I think, gee, I never had the chance to do that. But um, Saying in saying that a moment, I, and, and okay, I did work gap year, yeah. but I've done some pretty amazing things in exchange. Um, and yeah, of course, I've got um, dreams. And what do you want to do? Um, to be honest, I think what I want to do is finish the year well and um, make the most of my last few months on the show because I will miss it. Um, um, and maybe after that, just really sit down and, and have a think. Do you think we'll still see you though? In it, I mean, you know, you did It Takes Two, we've heard you on radio, you've sort of been trying a few other things and doing really well at them. Do you think maybe that's something you might pursue? Oh look, I, I, I hope I don't kind of um, go away quietly and you never hear of me again. I, I'm, I, I certainly want to keep working and I know I, I, um, I'd like a holiday but I have been working for 20 years yeah. as well so I think that if I sat around for too long doing nothing <laughs> I'd be bored yeah. out of my brain. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I guess really I just need to sit down and, and think about my options and, um, and, and like you said I guess I've been doing a few different things over, over the last say 18 months that I have really enjoyed and maybe I'll explore those but at this time I just, you know, I just want to make the most of, um, yeah. you know, go the end. A, go to America. Isla, Chris's. Oh, I heard you had Isla on the show this yeah, week, actually. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I don't, I don't really have any desire to go to the US. Perhaps if I was going to go anywhere, I'd go to the UK. Um, I think for me, I've been working for 20 years and to go would be low. And I want to want to be in Australia, body that poor and I love it. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Just terrific. Thank you. I've got a, I've thought for a while that probably names get on summer, but I understand. <laughs> summer, but stand up from you. I can understand. <laughs>